Agent Zamora rubbed a close-shaven temple. He swore the bone-dry ticking of the cheap clock above him was half the cause of his migraine. We know it was you, Blue Smoke, or whatever the tabloids are calling you. Just tell us where you stashed the apparatus, and we can end this. The other contributing half imagined what it might be to throw her cuffed hands around his neck and gently kiss his forehead. But she had a reputation to maintain, not to mention a tight timescale. You've gotten further than most. You'll find me again. She braced herself as the hour hand crept towards 6pm. Beneath her newly scarred skin, her skeleton glimmered and hummed.